Hi guys, this is Frankie Torres. And this is Sari Torres. We're the Pixel Slayers, and today we have another, what do we call this again? Mag Archive. <laughs> Thanks, My so, brain just blinks. Thanks so lot for contributing. Jeez, Sari. You know, anytime. All right, so today we're doing a 2006 Kingdom Hearts 2 EGM. In honor of the Kingdom Hearts 3 that is coming out shortly just a couple days i'm super excited and this um, is issue 201 cover two of four yeah so they had four different covers um and this one was the nightmare for christmas cover uh with their cool costumes and we have special guest star one of our cats if you keep hearing who them in the not, background who will not shut up <laughs> all righty so let's open this baby up and we have some playstation 2 greatest hits advertisements yep and this would be the very end of the PlayStation 2's life. I think the PS3 wasn't out yet, but it was yeah. coming. So just about everything was 20 bucks at that point. Unlike our, uh, it seems like all of our Mag Archive videos before this have been Nintendo Powers. So this will be our first one that actually has advertisements in it, which I think will be kind of fun. Look at this guy hanging upside down. That's... And one street ball. We all yeah. remember and one street ball, don't we? Oh, yeah, don't we all. Oh my god, Pontiac. Wow, Pontiac <laughs> Virtual NCAA Final Four. Well, that's dated. Oh yeah, because, yeah, Pontiac <laughs> isn't around anymore. I think this is the first year that um, Take-Two Interactive took over vir visual concepts from Sega. Mm -hmm. So this take, is... Take-Two took... Take two took visual <laughs> concepts over from Sega and started making their own sports titles. And they were going crazy. And look at that sexy... Look at that sexy Pontiac right there. It is the official performance machine of the NCAA. Do you think it still is? Mm. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Table comments. Check out Mickey right there. He's so cool. Mickey and Cloud. I wish they had the Mickey with the trench coat. But... Oh, the Mickey with the trench coat is the best. I have a I have an action figure of the Mickey with the trench coat. Yeah, so this is a major part. The cover story is on page 66, but let's look through the rest first. Yep. Oh, and we've also got Game of the Year awards. One of them is Guitar Hero, wow. the first God of War, and Resident Evil 4. And then Black, which is actually a pretty good shooter for... Uh, came out the very end of um, the sixth generation. Um, yeah, it's actually backwards compatibility. Uh, has backwards compatibility for the Xbox One. Yeah, we should pick that up. It's an Xbox One game that can work on your new Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> the first Xbox on your Xbox One. Here's uh, letters to the editor. We have uh, a warp pipe down memory lane. Because, you know, 1995, uh, 1985 was so far from 2006. Oh, yeah. And then, um, yeah, we're not going to read too much into that. Yeah. And then so another ad for plaque. they just piling that on here. Yeah. Back when EA had a little bit of light left in them. Yeah. Oh, they got Matrix and Path of Dio. <laughs> Is that Ronnie James Dio? Oh, yeah. The late great. Top 200 complainers of their time. <laughs> and, and this was before YouTube was big. Game of the Month. Talking about uh, Age of Kings and Age of Empires. Elder Scrolls uh, for Oblivion right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 360 was just out, so they're advertising the first gen... 360 games. Oh, yeah. Sonic Riders, everyone's favorite Sonic game. It's actually oh, not yeah. terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible. That's that's the, that's the a great compliment. It's not terrible? Yeah. Question mark. And here's a razor. That's weird. EGM <laughs> needed the money. They were selling ads to everybody at this time. Yeah. Oh, skip that page. Here's In a Reggie interview. Oh, my gosh. Look Is how young Reggie looks. He's a baby. Oh my gosh, so browsing the web on your DS. But we still don't know about the Revolution Controller, which is, of course, the Such Wii. Such a better name, in my opinion, but... Yeah. Oh, well. And in, in a different world, <clears throat> it was the Revolution. This is before the DS Lite came out, so... They just had those giant, clunky DSs. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is pretty impressive, because um, this came out in 2004, so this was less than two years later, mm -hmm. and they're at 13 million units. But wow. strange thing is, I think that's more time. It took the it took the DS more time to reach that than the Switch did, though. So the Switch is actually doing better at this point than the DS, which really yeah. says something. Oh yeah. Yeah, and they're talking about the Wii or Revolution, and uh, yeah. The outfit, which sounds like a Barbie game. We all remember the outfit. Yeah. 
And then the GameCube Wave Bird right there. Oh, yeah. And talking about the next Zelda. It's weird seeing this Ultimate Avengers. Like, this was before Iron Man even came out. So, mm -hmm. this was strictly comic book slash cartoon Avengers stuff. Yeah, this is when Marvel was, like, getting some of that uh, some that money from uh, their their licenses. and But they haven't quite, like, expanded yet. Yeah, they haven't exploded. And then we have EGM International. And they're talking about this uh, weird colored see-through Xbox 360. And mostly about 360 stuff. And we all know now that the 360 completely bombed in Japan. But they're showing some weird import stuff. And Half-Life 2, I mean, we're talking about the gap between Kingdom Hearts 2 to Kingdom Hearts 3. What about Half-Life 2 to Half-Life 3? I'm sure the third one will be out in a couple of years. Don't oh, worry. yeah. And then another 2K <laughs> Sports baseball game. Yeah, the great ones always look for it. Legendary. Untold Legends of the Warriors Code. Mm. I don't know what that was. It's so weird because I've seen that game for like two bucks yes. at our used game store. And now they're like, ooh. Oh, I see. Advertisement, advertisement. Oh, they put that in tiny, tiny letters. Mm -hmm. Creative manager, that sounds boring. It's like a behind the scenes type <laughs> thing. Yeah, I'm bored. Oh my god. Splinter Cell Essentials for the PSP. Mm hmm. Ooh, this is one of those foldies. Ooh. Look at that. This yeah. is the Godfather game, I believe. Um, well, this is really long. Yeah, it's the Godfather game. Wow. That's a pretty cool ad, actually. Yeah. I don't know. That was, yeah, that was right. <laughs> Let's just move we'll, on. We'll say it's right. Yeah. Okay, after Perfect thoughts. Dark Zero. Yeah. Everyone's favorite Perfect Dark game, right, guys? Okay. Guys. Yeah. I, I don't know. I I enjoyed the first one. I've never played that one, but was yeah. it supposed to suck? So, yeah, I don't know if it was supposed to suck per se. I mean, at the time it was impressive, but it, I don't know. It seemed like after Halo... This was, you know, after playing Halo and getting used to, like, a, a true, like, at that time, next-gen shooter for a console, at least, Perfect Dark was kind of, like, a step back, but... Yeah, they were still trying to copy the the types of games that were on the 64 at the time. Yeah, Rare was... I think Nintendo was wise to sell Rare when they did. I think they saw that it was all downhill from there. Okay, okay so here... Oh, we've got the Silent Hill movie. For some reason, I thought that came out later than that, but I guess it was... It shows how long that it was, um... I'm not even sure if, which Silent Hill film this is even about, to be honest with you. It was kind of just its own story, I think. Yeah. With little bits from the film. It's not the later one that got canceled, I don't think, but I don't know. I'm not educated enough to tell you about this. This one definitely came out, because I remember seeing previews with that girl in it. Yeah, it looks high quality. Yeah. Mm. It was a early thousands mm. horror movie. Oh, Tomb Raider Legend. Look it's, at, wow. Graphics are never going to get better than that. <laughs> Wow, look how how much the graph. I mean, seriously, wow, 720p, it's never going to get better. Oh, yeah, definitely. What are you talking about? It's actually a pretty good Tomb Raider game. Yeah, I liked Underworld. I never played Legend, though. Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. Mm -hmm. And then Phil Commander for the PSP. Here oh, we go, Blue, Blue Dragon. Dragon. I just got that recently. Um, it's an RPG for the 360 with... Uh, it's square and it's got Nobuo Uematsu and I'm excited to play it. That's your name all over it. I know. And nothing says early thousands like twenty four <laughs> the game. You know, yeah, I, I it actually isn't that bad of a game. Hmm. I'd like to pick it up again sometimes, but you can also watch new episodes only on Fox Mondays, nine eight central. That's not happening anymore. It was happening a couple of years ago when they relaunched it. Yeah. That's a sexy dude right there. Oh, yeah. And and this lady with the nails. I, why uh, is this in here? Let's talk about the Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah, it seems like it's very lightly tied to video games. <laughs> Shadow Hearts from the New World from x Games. Hmm? The gasp. Overheard. These are rumors, apparently. Or not rumors. I guess kind of rumors. It's just nonsense, in other words. Yeah, to it can... You know, hence that Pokemon causes cancer. With technology 
of 2013, you may live to see 2014. Oh my god. Wow. You know what's sad? Is that the Xbox 360 was still out in 2013. They're advertising this game for the Xbox 360. Because yeah. that generation lasted so long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here's a one of those stupid... Um, oh, I thought this was one of those like, no smoking... Things. It did. It does kind of look like that. But no, it's actually for this game. It's actually a pretty good game. It's like a racing shooter game for um, the Xbox 360 from Sega. It's pretty good. It's full auto. It's pretty cheap it's too. So pick it up. Auto. Yeah, pick up your 360 games while they're cheap because they're in that sweet spot right now. Metal Gear Acid Two. Mm -hmm. A little different arts take on Metal Gear series. A little bit de side side thing going on there. You got Mario Party Seven. Mm hmm. And that's when the mic came out with it. Oh, yeah. Uh, DDR Mi uh, Mario Mix. I remember that was a huge... <laughs> that was, like, such a hot item that year. Oh, yeah. Like, it was impossible to find that Christmas. Mario Kart DS. Yep. Pokemon Emeralds on the list. <laughs> SmackDown versus Raw. Top rental. I always <laughs> used to rent uh, fight um, wrestling games from, from my Hollywood video. Oh, man. I wasn't even really into wrestling games, but it, just, it was, like, the perfect game to rent. They're usually, like, cheap. And they were just perfect amount of time to play. And them. it's not like you have to complete a whole story or anything. You, yeah, you can get what it's like. Just you just yeah. watch a bunch of shirtless, half naked men jump on each other. Oh, you know, yeah. what's better than that, right? Yeah, why not? <laughs> right. <laughs> and then um, online, online gaming. Did you, you hear about this? Whoa. Online gaming's coming Whoa, so out. You can play games with people on your phone line. Yeah, and of course, if you had a Sega Dreamcast, you're doing this seven years before, but Ooh. this was a big deal to these people because they didn't have a Sega Dreamcast. I might be a little <laughs> disgruntled still. All right, so anyways, they're <laughs> talking about Burnout Revenge on PS2 and Xbox, Halo 2. I don't know hardly anyone that really played a lot on their PS2 online. I had the PS2 um, Network hard adapter. drive and adapter for Final Fantasy XI, but I didn't play it for that long. No, I, Xbox, you have the built-in Ethernet. But PS2, you had to buy a thing unless you had a new Slim. Yeah. I don't even know if the Slim... Yeah, I think the Slim was out at this point. Yeah, I had the big butt one. The big butt? Yeah. We still have a big butt one. We got show sometimes. But... Yeah, baby. Here's SanDisk. Can you believe that they can fit half a gigabyte on a little card like that? Oh, my God. That's true to size. Like, I don't think technology's ever going to get better. Yeah, put a freaking Switch, you know, cartridge right next to that. <laughs> and how much does that hold? Like, I think there's some that hold 32 <laughs> gigabytes and higher, yeah. so... Shows how far we've come. Mm -hmm. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. So, yeah. Um, never was a huge Elder Scrolls person, but I respect it. And the fact that they keep making their games, I respect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping somebody picks up that Zoolander yeah. reference. <laughs> Getting up. Uh, this is like the whole like extreme 90s. Like, this is almost like a... like This is already done with, but Atari kind of didn't get the message. Yeah, that seems kind of more of a 90s thing. Yeah. And then uh, Oblivion still. Okay. Hold on to your butts, guys. There's no cord. Oh my god. There's like there's no cord? I know. I remember the first time I held this, I fell in love with the Xbox 360 controller. And of course until I started trying to use that D-pad. But this was actually the best controller I ever held up until this point. Can I can I please read this? Go for it. It only plays like it's still there. The new Xbox 360 wireless controller, unmatched precision and performance to instantly reflect your every move. And with an advanced ecosystem of wireless products, you'll have the freedom to get the most out of Xbox 360 because they come from Xbox. Alrighty then. And the rumor mill. <laughs> Let's see how many of these things actually like happen. A growing fantasy. Fantasy Star Universe. Uh, I think that did come out on PS2, but I don't think it was called that. Italian jobs, I don't think they made too many more of those. Eh, these are kind of boring rumors. Oh my god, can we please look at this? <laughs> Driver Vegas. <laughs> look at that phone. Oh my gosh, and look at these oh. carriers. Altel Singular, which is now AT&T. Amped Mobile, I don't even know what the heck that was. I vaguely was. remember hearing about Amped, but this was, this was what my first phone looked like in, you know, about this year when I was yeah. in high school. And my first phone was a little bit older than that, and it was a lot fatter. <laughs> this is when they were getting into that razor-ish design, where they're getting a little thinner. Yeah. But, yeah. Actually, yeah, my first phone was a little fatter. That would have been more like my third phone. Rumble Roses, baby. This picture disturbs me. I know. Can we cut this part out? Ew. Can we, can we make this for the ladies that want to look at butts? <laughs> 
I don't I don't want to look at this. I will I don't who wants to look at that? So what what's your slogan here with these kind of games? Oh, okay. Um as a feminist, I am disgusted. As a lesbian, I am delighted. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and just skip past Aww. that. And of course that's from Jane Lynch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hot ten. All the cool things kids want for St. Patrick's Day. Do people give gifts for St. Patrick's Day? No. Because I, some people owe me some gifts now. I think that they just needed something that they put needed on an there. excuse to put something. It was eight large. gig PSP memory sticks. You guys are crazy. Holy crap! Calm down, guys. Eight gigs. Seven's this is too enough. much. What the hell are you doing? Seven. They don't come in that <laughs> type of. Okay. Halo Zero. Wow. That, that no, that never happened. This is an Intel oh, fan ad. Dated. What? Yeah, they just they always had these tight ends. This is when the Pentium uh, dual dual cores first came out. Uh, before they decided on Core Two Duo as their new like label. Nerd tip there. Alrighty. All right, and then coming soon. Yeah, uh, Metal Gear Solid Three, Metal Saga, The Outfit, uh, Dragon Guard Two, FIFA Street Two. A bunch of stuff is coming soon. Oh, Pokemon Troze. I never knew what that was. As much as I love Pokemon, I've never played Troze or many know people. what it is. Metro Prime Hunters. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is a media manager. This is such a... I've seen that at the, at the yeah. news game store. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Got to manage that media on your PS. Yeah. Final here we Fantasy go. Land. So here we go. This is what we all came here for. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, Final Fantasy Land. Oh, and here's all the other... So the other covers are... Kind of just plain Sora, Donald, and Goofy, and then the Timeless River versions in black and white, and then the Tron versions. Oh, I wonder if they uh, mention how long it takes to actually get into the gameplay in this. Yeah, yeah. The, I will admit the first couple hours are a little slow. Um, but they... I still love this game. But man, Twilight Town is so slow. I mean, <laughs> seriously, let's cut back on the mini games a bit. They could have made that like half an hour, and it would have been fine. This is so cute. Oh, I love the the Lion King level in this game is wonderful. Oh, oh, and Nightmare for, Before Christmas. Yeah, that was a repeat world, but this time you actually got to go to Christmas Town, mm -hmm. which was a trip. Here's oh. another ad for Winning Eleven Nine. What? It's a, a soccer game franchise. <laughs> winning Eleven Nine. If you're in the UK, it's a huge thing. I think, but. Yeah. All right, some more Kingdom Hearts stuff. Talking this about Tron. Sephiroth level, which is, or the Sephiroth fight, which is optional and really freaking hard. Wouldn't it be crazy if they made a new Tron movie? I know. Like, I'm sure that that would blast off. That would do so well that they would make tons of Tron movies after that. that. Oh, yeah. There, the second Tron movie was in Kingdom Hearts 3D. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. Onimusha, Donna Dreams. Oh, the Steamboat Willie World, Timeless River. That's that's one of my favorite worlds in all of the Kingdom Hearts. Oh, man. And I get that triple benefits card. Did you know that you can save 76% if you subscribe for two years? 76%? That, that's, that's, just, that's great savings. What? Pirates of the Caribbean? Yep, that was the first like live action world. And Tron, hmm. of course. Oh, uh, Mickey. Yeah. Kind of letting you take this over. This is more, uh, uh, you know, way more about this stuff than I do. So. Uh, it's going to be a lot of me just going, uh, just like nostalgia noises. This is one of my favorite boss battles. It's just fun. It is such a fun boss battle. Oh, my God. And <laughs> Awkward picture. How freaking tiny he is. He's a little baby. All right. He was just a baby. Warrior, ten hammers. Do you have what it takes? I don't think I have what it takes. No, sorry guys. Okay, so we've got EGMs 2005. I thought this was from March. Yeah, they're pretty late. Well, you know what happens is they actually would make these. They're always like three months ahead, so this kind of makes sense for them. Oh, okay. not for the reader, but yeah. So this is taking you back to the far off year of 2005. Ooh. Yeah. And then an ad. <laughs> Grandia 3. Come together. It's a pretty cool ad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's. This is like our third Fold little out. foldout. They, yeah. they really loaded those in here. So Game of the Year, they're saying Resident Evil 4 was Game of the Year. That was a GameCube exclusive that year, and then they ported it to like everything afterwards. 
Every, we mean everything. <laughs> Runner up is God of War, which that's pretty accurate. Most innovative, Guitar Hero. And you know what? I just hope they don't like overdo it. <laughs> I mean, if they really do it badly, those things are going to show up in Goodwills everywhere for like a dollar. Psychonauts, definitely a uh, game that no one played. <laughs> it's backwards compatible. Somebody did. Capcom Classics Question. I'm just going to be stealing like back and forth. <laughs> Look at where the camera's pointing. Capcom <laughs> Classic Collection. Blitz the League. Half Life 2 Xbox Game of the Year, which. You know. It, I hope we don't have to wait too long for three. Mm. <laughs> Project Gotham Racing Three, mm -hmm. which is really MSR Four. Yeah. Oh, it was the MSRP of MSR Four. Har. God of War <laughs> again. PlayStation Two Game of the Year. Fire Emblem Game of GameCube Game of the Year, which doesn't make much sense because if Resident Evil Four was the overall Game of the Year, wouldn't it be the GameCube Game of the yeah, Year? Yeah, I think they meant other than the game of the year mm, it's kind of confusing uh, uh, geometry wars most bang for your buck it was like a five dollar xbox live arcade game uh nintendo ds is a system of the year which is surprising because everybody thought this thing was gonna flop yep yeah. um at least when you die now you won't die alone substance loomies Lumens. Luminous. Luminous. Yeah. Which is seriously one of my favorite games. I play this um, before I go to bed sometimes. And I know that when I really start messing up, that means it's time to call it and just go to bed. <laughs> Micro marketing um, hyperbole is Xbox 360 launch hype. Hyperbole. Hyperbole. <laughs> it's the hyperbole. Hyperbole. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure that those launch systems are going to be performing great years from now. Oh, yes. They won't have any overheating problems at all. Of course not. Microsoft is really good about figuring those things out. They're a computer company, after all. I know. And <laughs> MLB 06 The Show, which I think it might have been like one of the very first uh, MLB The Shows. Um, this is David... Uh, David uh, uh, Giraffe. Giraffe. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, this dude, uh, his interview, he um, got a war. Um, apparently, he did that game, uh, Red Dead... That's not Red Dead. That's, that's Gun. That's like... That's like... It's gun. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not even that. Um, <laughs> okay. And uh, Twisted Metal, I believe. Uh, developed for a long time. And then, uh, yeah, Kratos would be the hero that deserves a sequel, and he will get those sequels. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll get a lot of those. <laughs> uh, Gamer of the Year is Old Grandma Hardcore, which I wonder if it's, if it's the same grandma that you see on Twitter these days. I, don't, I know I see the grandma on YouTube that plays Skyrim a lot. Because it would make sense because she's 69 here and she's like 84 now, so... Yeah. The math adds up. Also, stop moving. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mine. Mine. Okay, sorry. Guys. Okay. <laughs> and this is oneup.com, which I used to read a lot before they went bye bye. No. Oh. Soul Calibur 3. Mm -hmm. Nintendo Dogs. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm not even going to read that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. Gizmondo. Oh this my was god. Definitely a train wreck. There's a huge story. There's a lot of YouTube videos. Just Google down YouTube and you'll find some interesting content. And then the worst movie director ever. This guy <laughs> the, is... The Jack Thompson is a jackass. The word goes to Jack Thompson. He, he really is a jackass. Um, yeah. Am I going to have to bleep that? Yeah. Oh, this is going to be interesting for you. This is your... Frankie's the computer one. I buy power. Computer one. I buy power. Screwing over gamers since 2000, whenever this year was. 2006. Six, probably before that, too. Yeah. So, yeah, 64-bit chips were kind of a huge deal from AMD at this point. And Intel was just coming out with their dual-core stuff. Um, and then, of course, the X2 was just, just coming out. So, yeah, look at these specs that would have been considered top of the line back then. Um, let's see, we got... Uh, a Enforce 4 graphics card with that XP Home Edition. You have a gig of RAM, 300 gigabyte hard drive. It's a lot of hard drive space. Uh, 16 gigabyte DVD burner, uh, two G4 7800 GTs. Oh. Wow. Eight channels surround sound. I remember when everybody wanted like all these channels in their sound systems hooked up to the gaming, and that kind of doesn't make much difference these days. 
Uh, gigabit Ethernet, which was actually pretty good for the time. It was like, just coming out back then. And then wireless was still at G. That actually was pretty impressive. Like, honestly, if you up, the, up that RAM and that, well, honestly, your, your processor would definitely be killing you, but... You could probably run Windows 10 on that if you upgrade the RAM, but I'll, I'll, I'll move on now, guys. Okay, yeah, All anyone right. who's not a computer nerd, <clears throat> stay tuned. Okay, <laughs> so here we go, the review crew. I, I'm really surprised that they liked Age of Kings so much on the DS, because I tried that port, and it, mm, I don't know, I bought it for two bucks, and I returned it, because I wanted my two bucks back. Everybody likes something. I know, it's just, I think it's a bad port. Well... Full Auto, which I was just talking about for the 360. Yeah. This is definitely a great game for the 360. Um, it was like, I played this game when it was like, when I first got my 360 a lot. Right. Holy moly, this is... <laughs> yeah, this guy was selling these. And he imported these and from China. He was selling these in malls and stuff around the United States. He actually went to prison. And he actually had to pay for this own ad. Oh my gosh, yeah. This ad was paid for by... It's yeah. Part of his restitution. Yeah. So you got oh, five years in prison yeah. for selling these things. Um, funny thing is, our next video we're filming right after this, and we're, we're going to be posting after this is actually on this exact device. What a piece of junk this thing is. I'm really tempted to Photoshop um, <laughs> Soldier Boy right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But yeah, if you want to know more about this, stay tuned for our next video. Yep. All right. So we have Dead or Life Four. Yeah, which yeah, um, yeah. it was all right for the Xbox um, 360. I I had it. Um, it was all right. Yeah. Final Fight, which they tried to take it in this like extreme direction, it was terrible. I don't know. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. Ugh. Xbox Live Arcade. They're talking about this is like the first time that you could download like indie games. Um, oh man, real cheap. yeah. This kind of revolutionized a little. It was sort of a step forward to the. It definitely did a lot for where we're at now. Love me some Zuma. <laughs> you can get it for two dollars for the DS. Love it. Tico Racer Driver Three Arena Football and, and uh, World Soccer winning eleven nine. Mm-hmm. Grandia Three. They give it an eight. Tells of Lengedia. How? And get all these ads for a, for a. Collins computer. College. Yeah. I think they they were like one of the colleges that got busted in the whole like yeah. uh, private school takedown. These yeah. people are trying to recruit me in high school. They would actually come into our my high school and try to like get us, because I was like yeah. into all this stuff back then. They were trying to get me to go there and steal my money essentially. Yeah. Um, Gillette Fusion ads <laughs> because they needed the money really bad. Oh my gosh, there's, just, there's more ad on those pages than I am, not ad. I'm very disappointed how low of a score this got, but eh, each their own, I guess. Chibi Robo. He's so cute. Painkiller Heart, uh, Hell Wars PC game ad. Super Princess Peach, also kind of surprising. I think maybe at least a you know, I would, five. I would give it that. Here's it, the it ad. had some flaws, but it was good. This scored higher than that. That's messed up. Is this j that's the D what? Yes. Mm. Are you doing And of course your massive snowboarding um game for oh your, my uh, God. your LG flip phone. <laughs> that's crazy. True Swing Golf, Street Fighter, Alpha 3 Max, which was on the PSP, winning eleven soccer nine. Uh, here's the... Oh, PQ. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's real cheap on the PSP. Oh, and Exit. I love the art style of Exit. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten too far into it. But Mega Man. That's... Back when they were making a lot of Mega Man games. Yeah, that's a pretty good one for the PSP. Mm -hmm. PSP was kind of big at this time. I mean, it was medium. Drill <laughs> Dozer. These are pretty good games. I never and then uh, reviews wrapped up. Uh, they're talking about tw these kind of eh, games. Mm -hmm. uh, 20 Fight of Life. Uh, yeah. I have only heard of one of those games. The stupid, 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 stupid Final Fight, like, extreme version. Yeah. Save the Emergency 2. Review Archive. This dude talking about um, selling your games online, free listings. He's got that thumb up. Yeah. He's... Past know. Glory. All the top games uh, in previous years there. Yeah. Rest of the crap. Friends for PS2, if only it were a shooter. Tell us uh. how you really feel. <laughs> and Street Fighter Alpha Max 3 and all these other beautiful Capcom titles. Oh, they're starting to port those over. Oh, yeah. Basically, the PSP was like the PS2 port machine. Yep. And vice versa. 
And then uh, here's a nice little Kingdom Hearts <gasps> thing. Okay, I need to do this right now. Not right now. <laughs> Grudge match a gangsta's nightmare. <laughs> okay. Pocket games, I don't think they made many of those. <laughs> no. And then retro, uh, I'm talking about the Yonoid. Oh, God. Bubsby. Booger Man. Man. Yeah. Punk the Skunk. Check out the the tips on this this guy's hair. Uh, that seems a little dated, actually, by this well, point. Well, it was 2006. Yeah, like, but this is more like 99, in my opinion. Eh. Uh, I knew someone who had that in 2006. Elves? Uh, eh. Final word, two editors, two opinions. We so. knew each other in, 19, or in 2006. So have I been saying 1996? I don't think so, but yeah, oh, okay. yeah, we we um we we were going out then. Yep, it was a thing. Rainbow Six on the next issue. Wow. Oh, here's your answers. Don't no! look! Don't look! No! You gotta blur that out. And then uh, a comic at the end there. That nobody reads. Oh, here's those stupid early thousands. They no always are really bizarre. They had these, and then in the 90s, they had that tumor crossing, teeth staining, smelly, pukey habit. Yeah, that... That... Yeah. yeah. I don't know what this is. Nike shoes, for. apparently. Oh. Yeah. And that was uh, issue 201. Yeah, from March 2006. This was kind of a doozy. We're used to doing Nintendo Powers. Yeah, they're a lot Those shorter because yeah. they don't have all the ads. Yeah, but this was fun. I'd like to do some more EGMs. Yeah, stick, stick with us if you want to see more great content like this. And yeah. uh, see you soon. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.